Hello, you all. Welcome back to another video. My name is Ray Sean. For those of you who don't know me, people call me Ray. So in this video, we're going to be doing a soft smoky eye, which is this eye, soft smoky brown eye. Um, we're going to be using some newer products, some more new products in this video. Um, so make sure that you stay tuned so that you can see the products that I'm going to be incorporating in this video. If you want to see how I got this look, make sure you keep on watching. Before we get too far, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload a video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So I'm going to be taking a Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealer and I already based my eyes so I'm going to be blending it out. Okay you all, so for today I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place, the Chocolates Palettes again. And I believe for this look, I want this one to be more smoky. So this will be, I think I'm just going to use all of the matte shades in here. And we're just going to do like a smoky brown eye. This is the Juvia's Place palette again, the Chocolates palette. And this is how it looks. I'm going to be taking this shade right here. And I'm going to be using this for my transition color. Some of the old stuff. When I used it the first time, so I'm like, you know what, let's just do a smoky eye. So that's what I'm going to do today with this. This palette is very pigmented. Once you dig in with the color, you don't really have to go back in. You just need to blend and buff. That's really it. You don't really need to go back into the palette. So this palette does have a little bit of kickback, but not too much. Most pigmented palettes have kickback. So next we're going to go in with, going with this color right here. We're going to be placing it in the crease. And we're also going to be bringing it down some as well because this is going to be again a smoky, chocolatey look. definitely have some kickback this definitely has some kickback so I'm gonna go in with this shade right here this is the same shade that we use for the transition I want to place this on my lid so this will be my lid color there's so many ways that you can use the same palette you don't have to do the same look just because you're using the same palette. Remember, I use this palette already, but I'm doing a different look with it. So I like this palette a lot. So I'm definitely going to get some use out of it. Yeah. So I'm just pressing this on my eye. I did not wet the brush. I didn't put down any extra um, base, but it's sticking pretty well. So I'm gonna take that brush that I use for my second shade, my crease. I'm just gonna be blending out the edges. I really like this palette, y'all. Like, I really like this palette. Let me know which of the Juvia's Place minis are your favorite palette. I like this one, the chocolates one, and I also like the berries one. I think when she first came out with the, with the minis, those two were the ones I wanted the most, the berries and then the chocolate. So I have both of those. Um, but let me know which one you like down in the description down in the comment section so I probably can pick that up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add liner. So now I'm gonna be taking this NYX vinyl liquid liner in black to line my eyes. So now I'm going to be taking my NARS High Pigment Eyeliner. This one is in the color black. I'm going to be lining my waterline. As time goes by. So for my primer, I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. This is it right here. So this is supposed to be 
long wearing. It's not matte. I thought when, when I first got it, when I first got it, I thought it was going to be matte, but it's not. But it does say that it is long wearing. So I plan on doing another video after this. So I want to make sure that my makeup definitely stays on my face. Let's do something different. So for my foundation today, I'm going to be going in with the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. This is it right here. So we're gonna be using this today. I'm gonna be taking my sponge to blend this out. I'm going to be using a new concealer. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Touch Concealer. This packaging is really nice. This is how the concealer looks. I'm going to be using it on my eyes, the bridge of my nose. This applicator is kind of pointy. So let me show you. The applicator has kind of a pointy um, edge to it. I don't know if you can see that. I like that. So it gives the under eye, it makes it just a little, a little bit more easier to apply like right here in this area. Comes off like it could be a little bit more drying. Like what you mean, Miss Elsa? So now we're gonna try something different again today and this is going to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer. This is how it looks. Um, I did get mine in the shade Chestnut, and then I got my concealer in the shade number 20. So the color after this was so dark that I was just like, that's probably too dark. And I didn't want it to be so dark. Like, it looked like it was close to black, and there was no in-between shade. So it was this one or either that one. So I ended up getting this one. This is how it looks. I really like the packaging a lot. And this is how the back looks as well. I'm gonna open This is how it looks. I did touch it. This is how it looks on the inside. So I'm going to, um, I'm gonna actually blend out this concealer first because I don't know how these products work and this is my first time trying it. And I don't want the concealer to be too matte and then I can't, you know, blend it out well. So I'm gonna blend it out now. With this concealer, you do have to move quickly. This concealer, um, it dries down fast. So if you do not move quickly, then the concealer might stay in place and it'll be harder to blend out. So just make sure you keep that in mind that you blend out your concealer quick. So I'm glad I kind of blend that out um, first. I was having a little bit of a hard time because I did let it sit a little longer than I should have. So just FYI. Okay, so really quickly, because I don't think that I told you guys that my NARS foundation um, is in the shade Zambi, so that's that. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer. Now, I'm really hoping that this is my shade because it doesn't, it looks like it could possibly be my exact complexion. And then this foundation is a little bit darker than my other foundation, so I'm hoping that it show up. I don't know what you mean, Miss Elsa. This bronzer is very creamy. It's very creamy. I like the texture of this bronzer a lot. It's very creamy. I'm going to go ahead and do my nose. The shade reminds me of Espresso from the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. That's what the shade reminds me of. It's actually showing up. So I was afraid that it wasn't going to show up but it actually is showing up. I feel like when makeup things do show up when you're wearing makeup, then when you just try to put it on your bare skin, um, like in the store, 
but it's actually showing up and it's a it's a good color it's not harsh because the next shade to this one would have been a little bit too harsh so i'm glad i didn't get that It really works. Like, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I really like this bronzer. It's creamy. I like it a lot. I'm gonna be using this for my cream blush today. And this again is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Soft Cheek Tint Blush Mousse. And this one is in the shade called Bombshell. So we have a new blush today. Ooh, this is how you open it. You open it just like this. Ooh, I think I might like this color. Pretty dope. Ooh, I like the color, y'all. I like the color. This is really nice. This blush is girl. I like the blush. So this is how we are looking so far, so far, so good. Um, all the cream products are on, so now it's time to set, of course. So to set my concealer, I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Baby Bake Loose Baking Setting Powder. This is in the shade Kunafa. Just because, yeah. That powder is so smooth. I just love it. It's so smooth. Like, you all can see it. It's so smooth. It's just amazing. So to set the rest of my makeup, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. And mine is in the shade 450. So I'm noticing that you can still see my blush even through this powder. Some of the old so moving on, we're gonna be taking the Juvia's Place Bronze Palette. This is in the shade Deep. I'm gonna be taking both shades to bronze and contour my skin even more. Now, for my blush, I'm going to be taking the Juvia's Place Blushed Rouge Volume 1 palette. This is how it looks. And I am excited to use this today. I'm excited because I cannot wait to get my hands on this, girl. And this is how it looks on the inside. This is how the packaging looks. It's so cute. It, it looks just like the blush. So this looks just like the blush palette. Super cute, I really like. This packaging is like cute, it's really cute. So anyway, I'm gonna be taking the blush palette. This is, again, the Juvia's Place Volume One blush palette. And yeah, this is how mine look. This is the shade that I got. Very pigmented, very, very, very pigmented blush palette, okay? Just know that that's a super pigmented blush palette. Okay, so going back into the Chocolates palette by Julia's Place, we're going to be taking those same shades that we used 
For the eyes at the top, we're gonna bring them down to the bottom and just blend them out. Okay, so I did go out and purchase a new Morphe Mini Continuous Setting Mist. So this is it right here. I'm gonna spray my face. This smells so good. Um, It smells good and it feels like nothing. Okay, I love it. It's the bomb. I'm gonna be using the MAC Rising Star Opalescent Powder to highlight my face. This is how the this is how it looks. This is how it looks on the inside. What you mean, Miss Elsa? So now I'm going to be taking my lip liner in the shade called Tuscan Brown to line my lips. My bra strap keeps showing. And I'm gonna take my lip gloss in the shade Skin Tight. A little bit, a little bit of this gloss go a long way. These glosses are very pigmented. You can shop my lip gloss and my lip liners at oraybeauty.com. I will leave my website in the description box down below. So make sure that you check that out. Okay. Okay, you all. So this is the finished look. This is the final look. We are done. I hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Me using some new products in this video. But let's go ahead and talk about real quick some of these new products that I used in this video for today. So first, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Magic Retouch Concealer. Now, this packaging is beautiful. Um, this is super huge. I like the applicator because it has a point to it. I like that about this. The only thing that I would say about the concealer is that it dries down fast. I do feel like this has a medium to full coverage, so I do believe that this will cover up all of your problems, any type of eye issues that you got going on. You can always get a color that is your complexion to, you know, conceal any dark marks or any unwanted areas on your face. So you can always use a concealer that's your complexion to do that. Mine is in the shade number 20 because mine is for highlighting purposes. So I do like the concealer. I want to use it more. It does dry down fast, which means you have to blend it out quicker. So you can't really let it sit too long. Next, I want to talk about the Anastasia Cream Bronzer. This is it right here in the shade Chestnut. Now, I thought this was going to be too, um, too much of my own complexion, but in the end, it actually came out really nicely. Now, I do wish that she had a shade that was in between Chestnut and then in the shade, is it Ebony? What color is that? I forget what the name of that dark shade that she had. I forget the name of it, but... um. It's really, really dark, and there is no in-between shade. So I wish she had an in-between shade. Um, I wish they would work with black creators to be able to expand complexion products if they are going to make complexion products. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wish she kind of went into her foundations and looked at the end spectrum of the foundations to see what the middle shade was so that she could have been able to create a better shade range for... Um, women of color but in the end I still like this it's really nice it's beautiful it's creamy and it blends out well I really like this NYX sweet cheeks soft cheek kit blush mousse I really like this this is really nice and I like it because um it has an applicator so you can just put it on your cheeks like that and of course you probably can use it on your lips too because you just probably can so I like this. It's so smooth. It's very, very pigmented. Like, this is super pigmented. So I really like this blush a lot. Um, yeah, I'll probably end up picking up some more because that was fire. Also, too, um, I like the Juvia's Place Blush Volume 1 Palette. 
I like the palette, of course. The palette in and of itself is just gorgeous. And then the, the blush itself is beautiful. Very pigmented. Now, I think the blush, so her volume one blushes only come in two, two palettes. So she have this palette, which is the second one. And then she have another one, which is a lighter version. So I picked, of course, the darker version. Um, but this blush palette is super pigmented. It's really nice. As you guys can see, I really like it. Like, I really honestly and truly like it. Um, I want to say that's basically it as far as the new products that I wanted to try in this video on today. Um, my foundation isn't new from NARS. I've tried this on. I've worn this before on my YouTube channel, but I don't think that you all seen it really like that. Um, this is the Soft Matte Foundation, and this one, again, is in the shade called Zambi. Um, it's a slightly dark, but I do like it. I like it. It looks good. When I first tried it, I didn't like it like that. I wasn't too thrilled, but um, everybody keeps saying it, keeps saying that they like it. So I was like, well, let me just retry it. And I never picked it up. So I was like, let me pick it up in this video to try it with some other products that I have not used before. That concludes the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload a video. And I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.